Oh no, you're too wealthy. That's right. No, you're not. It's airborne. It's coming and it's here. They ain't gonna tell you. Are you panic? Let's see the rich panic. Let's see the rich panic. Oh, they're worse because they love their things. They love their things, man. They panic that they're gonna lose their life because they love eating down the street. They love their fine wine. They love their fancy foods. But when Ebola comes, wipes out Palo Alto, people start vomiting blood, oh, and they're dying. Oh, you see, man, you see. Oh, terror will grip your heart. That's right. You should fear God. Not fear uh, Ebola coming at you. You need to fear God. He is the one that you're going to stand before. So listen to another guitar. Listen to another music. Suppress the pain. Suppress the lies. No, you're a sinner. You're guilty. You're broken God's law. You have sex out of marriage. You've had sex with many girls. You're a whoremonger. It's wicked. It's wicked. It's wicked what you have done in the sight of God. It's evil. Your selfishness, your pride, your arrogance, your bad attitude. You have this attitude that you are it. Man, it was on the front page of the paper, man. Palo Alto is the most stuck up people in all the Bay Area. Palo Alto. The people of Palo Alto are stuck up. Full of pride. They're arrogant. Oh, they think they hold the whole thing together. Well, except when Ebola comes. Ebola comes, man. It's over. You die. You die. Then where's your stuck up? Where's your money? Who gets your riches after you die of Ebola? Where do you go when you die? Right. When it comes. Where do you go when, when this plague hits you and you die? Oh, I'll tell you. It's, oh, you better examine your heart to see if you know Jesus Christ. You better examine your heart to see if you're right with God. Oh, this is just the beginning. They hide Ebola. They don't want you to know it's in your town. They don't want you to know. Are you kidding? If you found out that it was here, you wouldn't be down here tonight shopping and That's eating. Right. That's they right. want your money. They want your money, man. Do you think they're going to tell you that Ebola is in the Bay Area? you got to be nuts. They'll let you believe it's in Dallas. Oh, they might let you believe. Oh, but I'm telling you, when God, when God warns and when God reveals his judgment, when he executes his judgments to make known to you who he is, you better repent. You better repent, get on your knees and confess your sin. You better repent, say, God, you are right, I'm a sinner, I've broken your law. I have done what is wrong and I believe on your son and I receive him as my savior and my Lord. But allow him to be in control of my life. It's serious, people. It's not a joke. Ebola is not a joke. It's coming for you. It's coming for you, and you can't stop it. That's right. You can't stop it. You can't stop this virus. You think that you're all knowing, all powerful. You got money. You'll hide in your car. Oh, no. Oh, no. You watch what happens because God is not mocked. God's not mocked by Palo Alto and their riches. You're not going to mock God and think that you're not going to escape death. Oh, death comes suddenly. And Ebola comes suddenly. Oh, yeah, you laugh at it until you're dead. You laugh at it until who takes your riches and you're in hellfire, weeping and wailing in the lake of fire. It's not a joke. It's serious, man. It's serious. Oh, you will see what's about to take place to Palo Alto. You will see what to take place. It's going to be sudden. Sudden. Peace and safety. And then what? Sudden destruction. How does sudden destruction come? How does peace? Everyone's peace and safety. Peace and safety. You have riches. You have nice clothes. You have nice cars. You have the iPhone 6. Hey, peace and safety. And then what happens? Sudden destruction. Ebola comes. Sudden what is it, seven days you live? Seven days you get it, it's over in seven days? What is that? It's so sudden. What is it? What, you find out your temperature? You got high temperature? Huh? You start seeing it. Oh, no, it's over. Fear grips your heart. It's over. It's over. Where does your riches go? What can you do in seven days to, to hedge your money? To hedge your house? Oh, 
I tell you. What are you going to do, Pal Watson, your pride? Pride comes before the fall. Pride. Your pride, your self-will, your right. big glory. And it's a warning. God warns. God always warns before judgment comes. God always causes men to stand up to proclaim his word that you might hear the truth and the truth would be set, set you free. Even though I didn't want to come out tonight. But God wants you to hear what he has done through his son for your salvation. Salvation from Ebola. Salvation from the virus. Salvation from hell. Fire. The second death, when you die because you're fornicating, when you die because you look at porno. Yeah, you will die because of your unbelief, your rebellion, your sin. When you're burning in hellfire, when you're in endless suffering, eternal torment, you never get out of hell. It is forever. And I'm in paradise forever. But at least God in his loving kindness warned you, people. Oh yeah, at least God is loving kindness. Told you it's coming. Told you it's coming and that you must repent. Told you it was here, but you, you didn't want to believe you. You loved your life. You want to, you want life, man. You have your goals and your dreams, your visions, your plans. Oh, you have so many desires. God's not in any of them. God's not in any of your thoughts. God is not in any of your ways. It's all about lust and money, buddy boy. It's fair. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Yo, he's so full of pride. As if he's going to fight a virus. Airborne virus. And he's going to fight it. And then, come on, people. What a joke. Inside at home, he cries like a baby. You kidding? You kidding? Fear grips the people. That's why the, that's why the media has you controlled. That's right. Otherwise, it would be panic if you knew it was down the street. That's right. God in his mercy. God in his mercy and his loving kindness warns you tonight to repent and believe in his son. God in his loving kindness comes to you once again, calling you to repentance, calling you to Christ. Turn to Jesus Christ and flee the wrath that is coming. Turn, seek the Lord while he can be found. Call upon his name tonight. Don't run down into a bar and pick up Ebola. Don't run down and have sex with some guy who will spread it through a semen. Did you just hear it on, the, on, on how many days it stays alive in semen, Ebola? Oh, no, no one cares, though. No one cares. Hey, I'm all right, you're all right. I'm rich, you're rich. Hey, we live in Palo Alto. Oh, you watch what happens because of pride. Pride. Pride is where the fall comes. Pride. Where you think you are something. You think you're strong. You think you're you're, you're good. You think you're you're wise. You, you think you have understanding. You think you have knowledge. You think you're okay. You think that God loves you and you just believe a lie from the devil. Because of all of your ways you lean upon. When God says lean not on your own understanding, but in all of your ways acknowledge me. And I will direct your path, but all you acknowledge is yourself every day. It's me, I, mine, I did it. It's mine, I did it. And then Ebola comes. Ebola comes and sweeps across the ground. Oh, you can't see it. You can't see it just uh, just as the angel of death went through uh, what, the land That's of right. Egypt, huh? That's right. Killed the firstborn. Remember that? Oh, you don't read the Bible. Oh, Ebola is just like that. You can't see it. You can't see it, that it's coming right at you. You can't see it's airborne, and then you, oh, no, it isn't. I'm, I'm pretty smart. I study. Oh, you're not going to escape death. You're not going to escape death. You're not going to escape, and then everyone dies. Ten out of ten die. It's an absolute. They're all absolute. They're all things for certain. And then a guy was riding his bicycle in a group, and a squirrel jumped out and then ran into a spoke. What happened to the guy? You wiped out. You wiped out. Did he die? Oh, you don't know how someone's going to die. Happens sudden. Happens suddenly. And then all of a sudden, absent from the body in the presence of God. And then when you're in the presence of God, you're going, God, I didn't know. God, oh, I, I would have changed if I knew. Yes, you knew. The Holy Spirit spoke to your conscience. The Holy Spirit of God convicted you of sin, but you suppressed it. You denied it. You rejected it. You hardened your heart, and you continued in your way right into hellfire. And then he 
you talk to your friends, hey, I'm okay, you're okay, we're all good, hey, everything's good, hey, God loves me, God loves you, God loves everybody. Nobody goes to hell. You gotta be kidding. Who goes to hell? It's a sinner. Who goes to hell? The ungodly. Who goes to hell? It's a fearful, the unbelieving. And I warned you, I warned you. God is revealing himself through his son, Jesus Christ. Will you turn and repent? Or do you want to burn in hell? You love your sex. You love your pleasure. You love doing everything you want to do. But when you're dead and you're standing before God and he says, apart from me, you work of lawlessness in the outer darkness. It ain't going to be funny. Boyfriend, your husband, your wife, no one's going to be there. It's just you and God. Everything's laid bare. You're naked, totally exposed. Everything is seen. All your secret sins, all your dead, uh, all the things that are in your closet. Oh, yeah, all the skeletons in your closet. You thought were forgotten. You thought were over. Now they're revealed. They're revealed. You have to give an account. They're revealed, and you have to answer. They're revealed, and Jesus Christ stands there and says, I was not willing for you to perish, but you rejected me. I was not willing for you to burn in hell, but you laughed at me. I was not willing to cast you into outer darkness where there's weeping and wailing and teeth, but you loved your money. You loved yourself. You exalted yourself. You became God. You sat on the throne. You governed yourself. You do whatever you want, whenever you want. You give no thought to me. Oh, yeah, you walk down the street as if you're Mr. Smart as you go to Stanford. When God says your pride, your pride will be your fall. Your pride, the arrogance that is in your heart. Who cares, though? Who cares, really? Who cares if you get Ebola? <laughs> Who cares? You die, we run away from you, you stigma. No one talks to your family, no one talks to anybody. Man, they hide from you. Where's your friends at now when you die of Ebola? Where's your friends when you die of Ebola, huh? Go talk to the lady uh, and the family in Texas when the man died. They tried to interview her with a suit on. Isn't that wild? No one even wants to get near you. They have to have a suit on. Why? I thought it was an airborne. Oh, when Ebola comes, man, no respect to a person. You can't wave a hundred to it and say, get away from me. Oh, no, you're not going to buy it off. When Ebola comes, oh, no, it's over. And then all your friends forsake you instantly. You have no friends. No one's going to come and nurse you. They're going to watch you die, and your family's next to die. And no one's going to come and take your That's family right. because they have it. What? Your family has it. Your little baby has it. Your wife has it. No. You turn to your mother and say, Mom, I have it. Get away from me. No. I want to live. You must die. You kidding? You think they're going to walk in without the suit and get it? People, you better think it through. You better think it through when Ebola gets you. Because you're going to die alone. What? You're going to die alone. And you're going to die in agony. And oh, those seven please, days are God, no! days of your life. Is it seven days or is it ten days? It's 21. Really? They raised it, huh? Oh, they, they give you 21 days. I think that's worse than seven days, actually. If you yeah, got it and you're yeah, dying, yeah. 21 days are yeah. counting down. Yeah. Everyone's forsaken you and you're yeah. sitting there by yourself, all by yourself, ready to die. Bola's got you. Yeah. Is anybody from Libya here? <laughs> oh, man. Sierra Leone. Oh, I tell you. You don't understand the Liberia. of sin. You don't understand the seriousness of sin when you're dying of Ebola and your girlfriend ain't going to come visit you. You're kidding? You're going to die 21 days alone. And you're going to go through suffering. Oh, it ain't going to touch you. Oh, don't be, a, don't, don't, don't be naive. Don't think that you're not going to get it. Everyone thinks that the other guy's going to get it. That's right. But I tell you, when your kid gets it, you're going to flee from him and he's going to die all by himself. No! Well, you might walk in with the suit on and big respirator and say, Son, I love you, but you only have 21 days and you're going to die. They haven't found no serum. They have found no remedy. It's worse than AIDS. It's worse. Wait till you see God's plague, people. You don't even understand. God can wipe out a whole nation. God 